the like button, subscribe to the channel, share the video, turn on your notifications, and catch me live every Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday night at 7.30 p.m. Central Time. And I'm also live every Sunday morning with KQKC Boxing Network, Sunday mornings at 9 a.m. Central Time. Without further ado, let's get into Knockout Boxing 86 TV. Oh, yeah. Drop super chats and super thanks when you go. Come by our live streams and our videos. Helps the channel grow. The more support I have, the more time we get to spend making content for y'all. It's prediction time. Let's do this fight prediction. We got Ramon Andre versus Zaire Abdulev. Andre, this fight is going down in Russia. It's a 10-round, 135-pound fight, I believe. Um, Andre is 25 wins, no losses, 17 wins by way of knockout. 37 years old, Russian fighter, orthodox, 5'7". You got Zaire Abdulev, 29 years old, orthodox fighter. Five foot nine resides in Russia, but he's Armenian. 17 wins, one loss. That notable loss to Devin the Dream Haney with 10 wins by way of knockout. Look, man, Roman Andreev is a classic Eastern European style fight, bro. If you're on, you know what I'm saying? If you don't know what the base style is of the Eastern European or the Mexican style or the Cuban style or the the, the 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 American uh the American black American style boxer like if you don't know what that is listen bro Eastern European high guard jab straight right hand textbook up and down style it's effective because they like to run shit straight down the middle the flaw of his style is it ain't a whole lot of head movement not a whole lot of different angles um but it's shortest distance between between two points is a straight line. So it's straight shots, straight shots. Every once in a while, wrap some shit around that guard. But he trying to jab is Andre, and he trying to throw some power shots behind that jab, and it's kind of straightforward. Um, he's thirty seven years old, so being almost forty, fighting in lightweight, super lightweight. Um, you know that's old for that division. Um, and so we got to see how much he got left in the tank And then he's only ever fought in Russia He hasn't hit the world stage like Zara Abdulev have And, and competed, you know, at that stage um, and, But he got pretty good power 17 knockouts and 25 fights And he, um, he, he, he he's going to pose some problems His issue is that um, That style that he fights in It's very easy to prepare for you give a guy that's world class a whole camp to prepare for somebody that's gonna have a high guard, carry their left hand low a little bit, not be too athletic, does have a big right hand, but is looking to work off the jab and throw the right hand as his two main weapons, bro. That's when you when you start drilling deep and that, that's what they teach you to defend first, like the basic shit. So, um, but the basics do get you a long way. But Zaire Abdulev. I think he got much more to his game. Better head movement, better timing. Um, the 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 guard is more. You know he can parry shots away. He'll catch and shoot some. Um, big left hook, both downstairs and up top. Uh, the stiff timing on the jab. Eight year eight year um, time advantage in terms of being twenty nine versus Andre being thirty seven. Um, and he's been on the roll. He's, he's won like four or five fights in a row since losing to Haney in 2018, 2019. I forget when they fought him, like 2018, 2019 or something. But he's been on the roll, bro. Knocked out Jorge Linares in the 12th round with a big left hook. <laughs> Put him down twice with that same left hook. Um, and, and really um, took over that fight. The dude that um, Tank Davis fought on... Um, Halloween a couple of years ago, uh, Nunez was the guy's name, Ricardo Nunez, Zara Abdulev washed him, you know what I'm saying, he's just been in there doing his thing since the Devin Haney loss, flying under the radar, that's a win, to be honest, as a diehard boxing fan, sound crazy, I view the Zaire Abdulev win in a better light for Devin Haney than I view the, um, the win over Jorge Lenore. At the time that he fought Zaire Abdulev, and the time that he fought Jorge Lenore, Abdulev is a better fighter, and Abdulev has gone on to continue to be a better fighter, while Jorge Lenore has been on the decline. Hell, Zaire Abdulev knocked him out. That should tell you who the goddamn better win was. But anyway, bro, so for this fight, paths to victory, 
I think um, Andre's got to get something home, something big to change the fight. It's probably the right hand, hide the right hand behind the jab, fire that mug off, and hope you can hurt Zaire Abdelev. I don't think he can outbox him. I think Zaire Abdelev is too nuanced. He's too he's he's more versatile. He has the better experience, although being a younger fighter, and his power is right there on line with um with Andre, except he sets it up better because. Andreev kind of throws shit at the same speed. While Zaire Abdelev, he'll change his speed up. He'll throw something slow and then, bah, wrap some shit around it. I like I like the little nuances to his shit. So I got Zaire Abdelev continuing his streak um, in this in this fight um, and putting on a good performance. Um, he is going against an undefeated fighter. I'm always weary to take a tough um, guy that's undefeated like Andreev and say that he gonna get stopped in a 10 round fight. Um, but I do think it's going to be a clear victory. I think 98-92 um, in favor of um, in favor of Zaire Abdelev. I think he wins eight rounds to two, seven rounds to three. Um, it'll be that type of fight where um, maybe it starts competitive early. Zaire Abdelev takes over the fight and then wins the middle to late rounds um, while maybe splitting a couple of the early rounds and then getting a wide unanimous decision. That's my official pick. Y'all let me know who y'all picking in this fight. This fight is going down tomorrow in Russia. I don't know if it's televised or not. I don't care, though. I know it's two good fighters fighting. I'm going to cover it for y'all because that's how we do over here on Knockout Boxing 86 TV. Appreciate y'all watching. Enjoy the rest of y'all night. And with that, we out of here. Peace out, y'all.